Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. A few days ago, the Raspberry Pi Foundation launched a new desktop for Raspbian called Pixel. This stands for Pi Improved X Windows Environment Lightweight, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look. Right, there are two ways for us to get the Pixel version of Raspbian. One is to go to raspberrypi.org and to go to Downloads and Raspbian and then to select Raspbian Jesse with Pixel and to download the image and to install it as a fresh install on our SD card on the Pi. And the other is to boot into an existing version of Raspbian as I'm doing here and to do an update. And I've chosen to do the update route partially so I can show you how to do the update and partially because I want to see both the old and new versions of Raspbian running together in the same video so we can really appreciate the new features in Pixel. Anyway, here on the old Raspbian desktop, I can now go into the uh, terminal and there's a range of commands we need to type in to do the actual update. We start with a sudo apt get update just to check that everything is set up for doing an update. That'll take a second to work through. And with that complete, I'll just adjust the size of this window so you can see everything on screen properly. And we now need to do the full update itself. Don't worry, I'll put all these commands in the uh, video description. There's quite a bit to type here. We need to do an app to get dist and an upgrade. This is the exciting bit. And this will obviously take a little while, I would imagine. Do we want to do this? Yes, we do. And there we are, it's completed. That took, I think, about 18, 19 minutes, which is not too bad to upgrade an operating system, is it? It will, of course, depend on the speed of your internet connection, uh, to what extent Lady Luck is smiling in your direction on a particular day, and also which uh, Pi you're using. Here I'm using a Pi 3, which will be fastest. Now, I also need to do a few more updates so we get the entire effects as if we had installed a new version of Raspbian with Pixel on it. So I have to do those commands, so I'll get on with those. I'll put the uh, Again, the code for this in the video description, but it'll take me a second. I bet you can probably guess what uh, this one is going to do. There we are, that one is done. Next one to do is this. And finally we need to do, and there we are, all of that is now done. Quite a bit to type in there, but if you take it slowly, watch your syntax, the upgrade process is not too bad. And we can now close down the terminal. You might notice it started to load in some new icons already. The uh, wastebasket has changed look. But of course, we'll see all of the changes by doing a proper reboot. So let's now go to the menu and do a shut down. Yes, I could have shut down from the terminal. I didn't want to. Let's do a reboot from here. And uh, here we are coming up again. And uh, oh, look, welcome to Pixel. We have a different boot screen. We don't have all the text scrolling up the screen anymore. And we're now arriving in Raspbian. It should be, in theory, exactly as fast as it was previously. Yes, look, your Raspbian system has been upgraded to the latest version. This is my uh, first boot. You can see it really is, look. To ensure compatibility, some configuration files have been overwritten. If you had a customized system, some changes may have been lost but we've kept the old files. Having said that, I'm very impressed because this was a straight reboot. It's obviously kept all of my settings for the display and for recording and has worked very well. And I do like the new wallpaper. As you can see, we no longer have the Raspberry on the screen by default. It's like the uh, image on the front of Bill Gates's Road Ahead book. I'm sure that's a complete coincidence. You can uh, see over here our icons have changed. You can see up here we have our new uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi icons. And in fact, it's now possible on these to do things like turn off Bluetooth or to turn off um, Wi-Fi to save power, which is very, very handy, nice little addition there. If we uh, click on the uh, menu, it's uh, rather different, different icons. Oh, we've got a, like, a, like the Pixel lamp icon for Office now. If we just compare that menu to the, uh, the previous menu, you can see it is a, it is a little bit different. Uh, let's go to the uh, preferences for uh, appearance settings. We've got one new desktop here, but I think we've got several others. If we just click on, say, 
road there. What else have we got? I don't know. Um, lasers sounds interesting, doesn't it? Let's select lasers and uh, apply. Oh, yes. Oh, I like that better, I think, because it works better with my text colors on, on the screen. You can see that up here, the icon for the terminal has changed. If we open the terminal, there it is. Um, the windows now have got a, a rounded edge, haven't they? That's, that's rather exciting, isn't it? It's a, the whole thing looks a little bit a little bit Windows 10-y, doesn't it? It's sort of, they've made it a little bit flatter, a little bit more, I guess, more modern. Let's uh, look at the file manager. That's got new icons as well. So there's the, uh, the new icons. Let's compare that to the, the old file manager. Very different uh, icons there. They're a little bit of old Atari ST icons, as you remember that. It's, uh, I quite like the new look. It's a little bit getting used to, but yes, I think I quite like that. Almost everything here in, in Pixel is about changing appearances, making things look a little bit more modern. We've already seen the new, uh, new wastebasket. And the other thing that's changed here, the, the big change in terms of programs included, is that now if we go up to uh, internet, the uh, icon has changed for the web browser, but far more importantly, if we click it, we won't get the Epiphany web browser we had in the past in, in Raspbian. We've now got Chromium as a default browser, which is really nice, isn't it? We've now got a, a new and far more modern and far more capable browser. And one of the great things about this is that Chromium on the Pi un, under Raspbian will use hardware acceleration, hardware playback of streaming video and, and video files. So we should get better video performance on the Pi under Pixel. So let's just test that out a little bit. Let's go to uh, youtube.com. Um, explaining. Oh, let's go to my other site, the uh, future. I'm always going to explain computers. Let's go to that one and load that up. Maybe a full screen, this would be wise. Go to uh, videos there. Performance seems to be pretty good still. And we'll, oh, let's play my video from, from last week. And we'll try and play it in the highest resolution possible, which is uh, um, 720p and full screen that, see how well that performs. That seems to be going okay. We should have pretty good video playback. Now let's find something a bit more uh, active in the video, hopefully to give us a bit more um, idea of how well it's performing. Um, not a lot of action in that, unfortunately, but never mind. It seems to be playing HD video pretty well, which is clearly a, a, a good thing. And, um, a little bit of buffering going on there, but uh, hopefully we're going to get yes now better HD playback on the, uh, the the Raspberry Pi now that we've got the uh, the hardware really coping with it with the playback in, in in Chrome. So that's clearly a good thing. So uh, I failed spectacularly there to throw you anything that's actually proper. Although also motion that seemed to work okay, but uh, other than that things clearly working very well. So there we are. That is. Pixel, the new interface I've added to the desktop for Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi. And I think it's a rather nice. It's just given a nice little refresh to our old friend, Raspbian. It's great to see Raspbian getting another update, and in particular one that makes it look like the modern and powerful operating system it most definitely is. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed this, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.